let's begin here in Nigeria, where Nollywood veteran Nkem Owa is, has finally broken silence since the passing of his daughter, Kosi Sochuku. Now, the multi-award winning actor, in a heartwarming post on Instagram, expressed his gratitude uh, to his fans for their love uh, during these times. Now, this is what he said. Uh, he says, I want to thank you all for the support and love shown to me and my family. When tragedy strikes, there is nothing more heartening than knowing that you are not alone. Now, the sensational star noted that the loss of his daughter was the biggest change he had to adjust to, given that it was unexpected. Recall that on the 18th, sad news broke that the actor had lost his 24-year-old daughter to an undisclosed illness. Till now, several fans have continued to extend love, support and prayers to the Nkemowal family. Now, of course, from here in New Central, our hearts and prayers go out to them. Now, let's move from that one to something more interesting, all right, to the music scene. Sabi Gale Ira Star continues to make waves globally. Now, the Rush singer has just confirmed an upcoming collaboration with Little Mix member um, Leanne Pinnock. Now, Ira Star is set to feature on the single My Love with the former member of the multi platinum British girl group. Now, the Maven Records star, who's been on her 21 The World Tour, posted a picture teasing the upcoming record. Now, Leanne also posted to her over 10 million followers saying this. Now she says, uh, this is a song I've been incredibly excited to share for so long. It means so much to me and informs so much about me and my career. It's about owning who I am as an individual wholeheartedly. This is me, take it or leave it. Now, of course, this isn't Ira Starr's first international collab. In a span of just two years, she's worked with Kelly Rowland, uh, Skip Marley, and Stormzy, amongst others. Now, there's a short video that she's posted online, and uh, it seems the video might have been shot already in Nigeria. Let's watch this. Now, we can't wait to see Ira in that video, of course. Uh, but speaking about superstars making a global mark, YBNL boss Olamide has just set a new Billboard record. Now, the rap icon has joined the legendary Fela Kuti as the only Nigerian artist to record six entries on Billboard's World Albums charts. Now, Olamide's latest project on Ruli uh, made it to the number 10th spot on the global album charts. Now, from his fourth studio album, Street OT, uh, to 2016 and 2017's hit albums, The Glory and Lagos Nawa Project, all peaked above 10. Now, then there's also Carpe Diem and UI Scutty, uh, which made it to the, the, the charts. Now, with Olamide's new record, Felasti remains unbeatable, though, with eight albums making it to the Billboard's world album charts. Uh, but a big congratulations to Olamide. Uh, his latest project on Ruli continues to soar, even becoming the highest charting rap album by a Nigerian artist on the US and the UK charts for Apple Music. So it's super impressive. And of course, uh, shout out to all Alamity fans out there. Let's move from that one now to the international scene where music mogul Jay-Z has surprisingly rejoined Instagram. Now the global hip hop icon made a new first post on the platform with what seems to be a movie trailer. Now the caption of the post read, The Book of Clarence, January 2024. Let's watch this first. Clarence, I'm not a man without faults. I played the cards I was dead. Clarence, in spite of your selfish ways, there is a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Now, several fans have taken to comment on the post uh, by the verified Jay-Z account to support and others to ask questions like how long will the global icon still be on the app? Uh, the account only follows his wife, Beyonce, and has responded to no one's comments. As of this morning, the account has recorded over 110,000 uh, followers already. Now, the upcoming film will feature famous Hollywood actors uh, Lakeek Le Stanfield. There's also James McCoy, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, amongst others. Now, Jay-Z is reported to be a producer on this biblical epic film. And according to him, this is what he had to say about the film. He says, this story is about a young man who finds his faith through love and through wanting to become somebody in this world, which is a story of everybody, adding that everyone wants to find love and hopefully uh, affect the world in a positive way. Well, shout out to Jay-Z. We're looking forward to that one. Uh, some people are talking, uh, is it a Christian film or not? 
I guess we'll just have to wait to find out, all right? We'll definitely have to wait to find out. But I have to drag, uh, of course, Osan all the way to this conversation. Jay-Z coming back, going, coming back, going from the platform. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. Like, when you create scarcity, when you're not a, a, available on the platform for a uh -huh. long time, the moment you come back, everybody will notice it. Someone like Genevieve, for example. The day Genevieve makes a post, everybody notices. So, yeah, I'm not surprised to see his comeback. He's realized that every tool for publicity is fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how. I'm looking forward to the film. I saw Chiwe Tele Jofo in the film, I believe. So I look forward to seeing the film and I hope that it's a good one. If it's a faith based film, it can be a bit tricky and I hope that they don't offend some people's sensitivities by some of the literary uh, freedoms. They'll, they'll be all right. That they will <laughs> no, take. We'll get everybody gets in, you know, intoxicated with being offended, you know, by, the, by anything. What can. It feels like half of the world wakes up thinking, what can I get offended by today? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can I get offended by today? Faith can be it's sensitive. Annoying. It's yes, actually it annoying. Sensitive. I think we should, we should learn to enjoy art, enjoy mm -hmm. the creativity of movies and mm -hmm. music and whatever else. And All right. Just let it. Let that it. one is a conversation for another day. We'll talk Absolutely. about it, right? Uh, thank you, Sam, for bringing us entertainment. Thank you for having me.